Hey Legionnaires and welcome back we're with an epic Thrones of Britannia battle for you today and this has about 25,000 men on. We are here recreating the Battle of Brunnenburg which was fought in 937 AD. This is basically like a Battle of Britain basically. There is the Irish here, we have the Scots here, we have the Welsh here and we have some English factors here. We have, uh, it was historically Wessex versus, uh, Wessex and Mercia versus, um, well you've got the, uh, the Welsh, you've got like, um, you've got, I can't remember what Welsh factions are. I think it's Strathclyde, I think we have, um, here today. And we also have uh, Constantine II of Scotland. So we have the Scots here, and then we have the King of Dublin, which is, uh, who's called Olaf. So uh, obviously we have all, all of the nations here, as you can see, and we have two Wessex armies. We have a Mercian, we have Dyflin over the far side, we have Scotland in the centre, and then we have Strathclyde here. Uh, and it is going to be a brilliant battle, I can already tell you. This one comes down to the wire. Definitely worth sticking around to see what goes on. And uh, yeah, you may be wondering how we have 20 of 25,000 men on the battlefield. Um, and we did it because we uh, have there's a mod that allows you to increase unit sizes. I'll leave a link to it in the description. And uh, we also have immersive shields on as well because, of course, you can't play Thrones of Britannia without immersive shields and armies. So, I mean, look at these shields. look amazing. They look beautiful. So much better than vanillas. Uh, unfortunately, they're just a bit savey in vanilla. At least with the, uh, at least with this mod, you get a bit of a difference. But yeah, already I'm having to push it like straight in because these uh, long women here are just harassing my army, and it's so frustrating. Why are you getting jab? What this jab? Not like jabby's axe is thrown me. Okay. Are they gonna go flying on in, or are they just gonna stand there? I think they're just gonna stand there. We have the well, we're, we're fighting over here. So here we go. The first bit of battle. It's about to begin. I think I have some feared axemen, yeah, facing some uh, cam traffic, uh, some spears, basically, some just cheap spears. Um, but yeah, if this was a scenario that was set up on my Discord, if you want to get involved in uh, in like some action on Discord, if you want to play some Thrones of Britannia or anything else, uh, feel free to uh, join the Discord. The links down below in the description. And also, don't forget to leave a like, a subscribe to me around here, and a comment to show your support. As always, guys, it's really very, very much appreciated. Um, but yeah, as you can see, currently I'm moving over lots of swords, lots of these more like elite units I have mailed, let's say X is here, they're going to move up and attack these uh, Welsh swords, I'm trying to basically just take on units I know I can win, other areas like these Fjord Spears and stuff, they're just going to try and hold this like, entire line in place, currently they're getting focused as well, it's like, yeah, a bit nasty, but yeah, I'm also trying to move over some more mailed say X's along with my Royal Huskals, and I'm going to try my Royal Huskals and try and punch a way through. These boys are elite. Got the big axes, they're mailed up, ready to go. They're gonna be nasty. Uh, yeah, my archers are getting absolutely focused down. These militia feared archers, which I got given, it's no match to the longbows. They don't even have the same range. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna go and help my ally uh, take on the Scots with his archers. Because he's doing a better job. He's taking out these crossbows very, very nicely. Um, Mercy has also clashed over on this side. I haven't really seen what goes on on the other side. I was so focused on my side. Um, I didn't really see what was going on over here with Mercy, but Mercy seems to be holding a solid spear line. March at Armored Spears are all losing. He seems like he's losing all across the entire front. Um, the Vikings, or like Diflin, which is the Viking faction here today, um, have a lot more axes than anyone else. Most of the factions don't really have axes. Just, they have more swords and spears today. I mean, I've got obviously some Huskarls, but that's about it. A bit, yeah, like Berserkers and stuff like over here. Berserkers and Eastern Huskarls. These guys are going to rip through these Saix Warriors. Um, unfortunately, yeah, they're just not going to be a match. You can just see like the bear on the hat, on the head there. This is awesome. It really does. Let's actually turn it this way. Look, oh, so much nicer from this angle. Beautiful. But yeah, I mean, Mercy is kind of uh, losing on a lot of fronts, and he's already now having to fight Scotland as well. Scotland's actually coming in, and we've got a bit of a cavalry charge going on here. Thane Horseman into the flank. In they go. Cavalry is not that great a thing in uh, Thrones. Even in, like, this mod, which has, like, larger unit sizes, cavalry's still not that great. And see the Royal Bodyguard's going to come flying through here. He's going to come try and uh, chase down this cavalry. May not be a great idea with these male spears very, very close behind. Also, this is a general. I mean, this could go terribly wrong very quickly. Also got a Royal Bodyguard coming over here, 300 men. Oh my god, it, you thought 200 men in vanilla was scary. 300 Royal Bodyguard, elite infantry going in. It's going to be a very scary sight. Uh, I now send in my, um, send in these uh, male Danes. 
quite funny because I forget that I had this unit here in shield wall. So most of the male Thanes don't make it through to the front line. They're just like, a couple of them are fighting in the front line. Just minding their own business. The rest are kind of stuck still in the shield wall, which is kind of really funny. They're like, yep, yeah, don't mind us. Just trying to get through. Excuse me. Excuse me. But yeah, already my uh, my hostiles over here are having a really rough time. I'm a male six, actually. It's just, this entire flank's having a really rough time. Welsh mailed axes are just doing a very good job. Yeah, then the rear charge there from the uh, general gonna get a really good charge into the backs of my Huskars. I mean, Huskars are pretty susceptible to cavalry charges, I feel, especially this cavalry. This is an elite cavalry, yeah. Though, at the same time, it's always a risk charging into a unit with a big, a big, old, uh, a big old axe when you're a, a cavalryman. It's a big risk of being cut down, just like that chap there. Now you've got the, uh, the center Wessex army that is starting to, uh, to push on the, on the Scots. Thing is, though, even if you're, like, losing with a unit, like, losing decisively, it takes forever for that unit to die. Because there's 200 plus men in the unit. So it's even still, it's hard to cut down. Rob Bodyguard over here is like kind of in behind enemy lines. Kind of a bit of a risk. There's a big gap in the line here that you could go through. Like Dyflin is, uh, Dyflin and Scotland aren't quite joined up. And yeah, you could go through this gap here and you can get in behind, get after all sorts of stuff. I mean, there is reserves coming up, so maybe it's not the greatest idea. King's Blade's being sent up. They're going to probably try and block this gap. I mean, what are the numbers looking like right now? 10,700 versus 10,500. Men already breaking. Oh, my Royal Huskars already breaking. Never a good sign. Never a good sign. Over here, my other Royal Huskars doing okay. Helping to try and cut through this Welsh Swords unit. I was really wanting it to flank around a little bit. Try and get a little bit of flank, but then just seemed to keep shifting across. It was very annoying. I'm not really sure how these Welsh swords are really holding on. I'm very annoyed by it. What we've got in here now, Thanes get rear charged as well. They're taking on like three units currently. I mean, this is something that you don't want to do, I realise, later on in the battle. To have multiple units of your own fighting one single unit. You want to have as many units fighting as different, like, different, in different places as possible. Where you think you're going to win. Um, because, like, you just want to try and break through one spot. You want to break through one spot and get that advantage, that unit advantage. Like, currently over here, for instance, I mean, in fairness, they've also sent in two, but they have male fanes and feared axemen here. I just need to pull one of them out, and then I'm a unit up, because they'll have two units in there currently by my one. And I just need to try and break through some else, but I mean, currently, this, like, line is just, looks like spears and axes. It's just, I mean, these are levy axes. Apparently, I just don't believe I could go through them. I don't think I could, because I think what I had facing was Levy Spears, which was no better. And also, the Welsh will form Shield Wall, so it doesn't seem like they're wanting to attack. They're wanting to be a bit more on the defensive. Anyway, we'll go and check out elsewhere. Mercy right now is having a really rough time. Like, his army is starting to rout in a lot of places here. And uh, he is not having a good time. Male Long Axeman as well, yeah, being beaten out here. This is a pretty good unit as well. Getting cut down. And they broken. It's a shame. Mercy, yeah, Mercy is kind of running out of troops. He's got his Royal Thanes next in the line to go, and that's kind of like it. His general's well and truly committed now. He's wrecking lives, He's taking on these Albanax warriors. He's got these Searle Axemen in his well here. How are they winning? I don't know. Oh, they're not now. Oh, they're the Sex Warriors. Yeah, what are the Searle Axemen winning against? Speared Herman. Okay. More stuff breaking here. Select Fjord being broken. Royal Thane's now being sent in, though. Do these Black Blades. Look how many Black... Like, these men, these Black Blades kill. Look at all the dead that are just lying here. 
We'll wait for the charge. It's the Royal Thanes are coming. You can hear them. The war cries are sounding. And in come the Royal Thanes. And in they go. Yeah, over on this side, it's still kind of a bit of a uh, bit of a close one, put it like that. We've got uh, Earl Spearman now going in and trying to just pin down this general, try and stab him as much as possible with my spears. I'm just getting really annoyed at this general who just keeps getting away from me. I am killing his, some of his cavalry, though. Like, he is losing quite a lot now. He's wavering. Look at that. He's wavering. It's a big win for me. I was, like, trying to desperately chase him down, get him uh, off the battlefield. If I could get him off the battlefield, there was hope that maybe I could just start to chain route some of these troops. Certainly like the lesser the ones here. I've got Earl Thanes here. They're going in against Welsh Axemen. They should be able to win that fight. I mean, look at the difference in armor. One's not wearing any. One is. And you've got Militia Fjord here. They're going in against uh, Welsh Axemen. I mean, Welsh Axemen should probably do okay in that fight. I mean, they're only against Militia Spearmen. Yeah, the Feared Spearmen here are not doing that great. They're even lower than these uh, Militia Feared. There's a bit of a gap now opening up. My uh, my Feared Spearmen here may be able to try and do some damage. I mean, I'm not looking that great on this side, though. My General's over on this side. He's winning, though. But, uh, yeah, it's not looking so great on my side. I'm actually starting to get a little bit worried. My male Thanes are, though, breaking through. I mean, I don't think I've actually broken many Strathclyde, if any, Strathclyde units at this point. I think I'm about to break one here. But, yeah, I've actually lost a lot more on this side. And uh, at this point, Mercy is kind of looking a little bit rough as well. I mean, he's winning in some areas. He's starting to break some of Dyphon's troops, like the Great Axes. Um, he's, he's still getting broken in quite a few areas. It is looking very, very close on this side. Scotland look like, looks like he's doing a good job of holding back Wessex as well. Yeah, these Sex Warriors, they're desperately trying to just battle off against some Berserkers. It's just a losing battle there. Got Hearthguard. They're still healthy. And in comes Eastman Champions. That's the last thing. Was. Oh, good rear charge. Going to go on here from Eastman Marauders. We go in the back into some of these uh, male Thanes of uh, Mercia. These guys going to get cut down. And these male Thanes now surrounded. They're holding okay. Combat even at the moment. They're quite happy to be surrounded, it would seem. I mean, they're going to counter charge uh, these uh, Eastman Marauders. Yeah, I mean, these actually guys, these Eastman Marauders getting uh, surrounded themselves and are losing because of it. And there you go. I mean, there's a lot of breaking going on on my side right now. I'm seeing a lot of wavering. I mean, there's a lot of, uh, like, units getting surrounded gradually as well. You can see over here the same thing's happening. Will the uh, will the Welsh, the Scots, and the uh, Irish change history? I wonder. It may do. You never know. But it looks like, I mean, the Scotland's making a big offensive here. You can see he's routing, uh, like, Wessex's troops again. Long Axeman being broken. Sword Warriors doing a good job here, clearing up some... Mercy's now losing in the center. He's somehow... I don't know, he's rallying troops to try and put out fires everywhere, but... I don't know. I don't know if it's enough. The general is dead, though. I think... Oh, yeah, this is uh, Scotland. Scotland's general was way behind enemy lines. 
Like way back here because he had to do some charging. Been charging something. He didn't got focused down by uh, by archers here. Select so feared archers getting taken out. And uh, now he just, I mean, Scotland's going to have a a dip in morale, you imagine. But yeah, this battle's pretty important in sort of like English history. It's sort of seen as the beginning of sort of uh, a united England. It is the battle that kind of unites England and builds sort of an English nationalism. Not quite sure why. I think it's just part of the Viking invasions of uh, of England. Is um, is this battle? But yeah, the Scots and the Welsh kind of get involved for some bizarre reason. But uh, yeah, it's a, certainly a, an epic one. Let's put it like that. Oh, over here, it's looking a little bit dicey now. Longbowmen, they're going in, and they're gonna. I mean, they're going to get routed by these malicious spears that are... I mean, they're just surrounded entirely, and they, they don't even care. I need to get this move at unit, unit moving. This Fjord Spear here needs to get moving and save something. My general is... Uh, is winning decisively, thank God. He needs to keep winning decisively. I need to get this Fjord Spear moving. I don't know if I was looking elsewhere or what. I might have been trying to deal with... I think I was Our dealing with stuff up here. It is, uh, but yeah, you've got other stuff we need to get moving. These Earl Spears could do with surrounding these uh, Welsh Axemen here. I mean, my general could do with some support as well. He's gone combat even. I'm still losing troops elsewhere, so it's uh, not quite over yet. I'm, I mean, I'm wavering over here as well. The Tululu Spear Guard are just a real, real issue. Or Telulu, or however you say it. But it looks like Mercy is slowly turning around this battle over here. And my god, they've had a hard battle. I mean, they've done really well with this cab. This cab's done really well. Um, I know I said cab's not that great, but I think they've... I don't know really what they've done with it. But it seems like it's it's been routing stuff. I'm going to see a charge here anyway. Nice rear charge. Yeah, he's been champion. He's getting reduced. Look at that. Down to 78, and they're wavering. Yeah, the Cavs have been huge then in uh, changing this battle See, around there for Mercy. I mean, they still got their Hearth Guard alive. Have a Diflin, but only just. The Scots over here. Um, this is isolated units everywhere, really. I mean, it's, it is slowly shifting in our favor. It's now 4,600, 4,500 against two, uh, 3,200. So it's not, it's not that. Uh, over and done just yet, but I mean the Scots they've got probably one of the freshest armies left, they need to do a lot, I mean Strathclyde's got a pretty healthy army as well Scotland has no general though, we have to remember so that is going to be a problem even though they're probably one of the stronger armies left I think that, I don't know. I must have moved this unit. This unit, I think, might be just be bugged out. I honestly don't know. I hope the replay isn't too bugged out. It's been a bit of an issue I've seen with uh, with Thrones recently when it comes to modded games and modded uh, replays. Seems to be running just as it had in history, uh, like in history, in uh, <laughs> when we played it. Um, not in history just yet. We don't know what's going to go on, but I mean, yeah, this militia feud here absolutely just taking names. I've now got uh, I've got some Earl Stains here that are about to recharge some stuff. I honestly forget about this. I don't know. Maybe I'm now second thinking myself. Did I actually forget about this uh, Fjord Spear? It's just lingering here. I honestly don't know. General here wavering. Royal Champions needs to get out of there. He's kind of uh, in a bit of a, a rough spot. Black Blades here. They've done really well. The Black Blades were apparently doing just bits against the Wessex Army here. And now getting focused down on the flank. The general's gonna have to uh, help sandwich his black blade unit. It seems with the Searle spear here, being shot in the back as well is a painful way to go. And in they go. There 
it broke them black those black blades very easily after me just uh, talking about them and saying how great they are kind of a bit embarrassing uh, welcome to Axe is free to pee yeah I think this replay must have bugged out a little bit I don't know for some reason I ordered them to go and kill them I don't think that was the order I gave but anyway we will see we will see how it goes but Mercia has looked like he's going to beat uh, beat Dyson. I think yeah it must have bugged out a little bit because his hearth guard would have moved on by now I don't think Mercia would have just left them to there their own devices like that so that's unfortunate that it has bugged out a little bit but i mean it's kind of going the same way as the battle did in the uh when we played it live strathclyde is kind of getting uh, beaten back it is now just down to really strathclyde scotland's kind of gone his spear guard is still hold on though Yeah, this uh, Fjord Spear over here looks like it may, may be able to defeat... Uh, well, it looks like it's defeated most of the stuff. It's uh, gone combat even on this uh, final unit of Welsh Spears here. Or Welsh Swords, I should say. Got a general that's uh, breaking over here. It's not a good sign for this uh, Wessex army. Got Mercy and Cav now being thrown in. Trying to do damage. I mean, these units are just getting focused down by archers. And Mercy is making his way over. Come and deal with uh, what remains of Scotland. But it seems like, uh, yeah. I don't know really what's going on for this last bit. Like I said, the replay's kind of bugged up a little bit. But it is going to go, like I said, like it did. In, uh, in live, and it looks like the Welsh and their uh, allies are going to get defeated. Our men run from the enemy. This is shameful. My general's still holding on. I don't know how. 126 men. Yeah, the replay's definitely bo uh, like broken because I lost my general at about this point with about a minute left in the battle to go. I need a lot less men. Get a lot less. So that's unfortunate, but it's uh, like I said, the beginning of the battle of the mid game has certainly gone the way I've actually did in like live. It was a really tough battle, and it certainly felt like a, a lot of points that we were going to lose this battle just because I couldn't break through their front lines. They seem to be doing a lot more damage to me than I was to them. Another really cool thing with this uh, mod is that like archers can reload. They like uh, have like sort of three quivers almost with them, so they uh, reload their ammo to a certain extent. Blackblade's winning over here. Against Mercia. It's a rout. Our warriors flee the battle. Still sounds like I'm losing a lot of men. Which kind of was true. Even to like the very end, I was still losing a lot of men. And Strathclyde here, yeah. Some of his units. Yeah, apparently just pulling out of this combat here. Though, uh, don't know why I would have done that. When I was beating them. But there you go. A very strange ending. Um, but yeah, it, it's been a weird one. We'll have a quick look. See, I mean, I don't know if we're going to get the end results. I honestly don't know. Um, yeah, everything's just moving over here. Because these units were actually defeated. Well, it says they were. And it closed the feet, apparently. Um, though it was actually a victory for those that, like, may go and get confused. We did actually win. Um, unfortunately, I don't know why it's it's uh, saying this. It's just unfortunate. I think the replay's slightly bugged. Um, but yeah, it was a fun one. Um, it's good to try out this uh, this cool mod and uh, these um, like these sort of new rules that we had kind of going. It's kind of interesting, um, and we also had very very identical armies to a certain extent. But maybe the Viking one was slightly different. Had more accents. We almost had all we had all the same like sort of missiles, all sort of like same amounts of like m level one, level two, level three troops or tier one, two, and three troops. It was very very well done. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end the replay, but I don't know if it's going to work. I, we may just be ending go back to the load screen. We are going to go back to the load screen. That's unfortunate. Um, but yeah, I mean, a few like highlight, like a few units I can certainly remember that did very well were there was a Black Blade unit that got over 500 kills for um, Scotland. 
There was, uh, like, the longbows did really, really well for uh, Wales. It got, like, 150, 200 kills, if I remember correctly. Lots of my infantry did really well. Certainly, like, my male Thanes getting over 300 kills. Um, and then, like, Sachex's general, who was... Uh, Sachex was the one that organized this uh, scenario, so thank you to him for doing it. Um, his general, he was playing as Mercia. King way over uh, 400 kills. But, yeah, thank you to everyone that took part. It was a really, really fun one. Yeah, well done to, uh, like, to Tar uh, Targon Dark Darkbane, Riken, to um, Leonidas, uh, to Goldie, and to Sachex. All did really, really well. It was a really fun battle. And, uh, yeah, thanks to you for coming along. And for those of you that enjoyed watching today's battle, um, I do apologize that it's kind of bugged out a bit. Hope you still enjoyed. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and a comment to show your support, as always. And until next time, I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.